conversion rate up 200%, add to carts up 300%, and double the revenue? There's never been a better time to start split testing with Zipify Pages. That's because you can now split test Shopify's default product page against our Zipify product page from right inside the app. This means you no longer have to switch between multiple platforms whenever you want to compare the conversion rates of your product pages. Plus, we made it super simple to start split testing and easy to understand the data you collect. When running our own product page split test for the Boom Silk product from Ezra's eight figure business Boom, we saw a 200% increase to the conversion rates, triple the ads to cart, and more than double the revenue. So if you're looking for new ways to boost conversions and increase sales, then Zipify's split testing feature is your new best friend. Here's your quick three-step tutorial on how to get started split testing product pages with Zipify Pages. The first thing you need to do to start creating split tests is to connect your Google Analytics account to the Zipify Pages app. If this is your first time using the split test feature, you can log into your account from that section or you can go to the general settings to log in and change your Google account at any time. We have help documentation and live chat support to help you through this process if you have any trouble setting this up. The second thing you need to do is to create a ZP layout product page to split test against your default Shopify product page. Every time you create a new product page for this type of split test, make sure you select the correct type of layout before you start building it, otherwise it won't be available to split test. After you've completed steps one and two, the third and final step is to go to the Zipify Pages newly redesigned split test section and create your new split test. Name the test and proceed to the control and variation section. Click choose to select the control page, then switch to the product pages tab. This is where you can see all of your published ZP layout product pages. Select the product page you want to split test and save. You'll notice the default Shopify product page is automatically added as the variation page with the public test URL right below it. As for your test goals, we have six different metrics to choose from, including conversion rate, sales, average order value, and more. Select your goal, choose how much traffic distribution you want to go to each page, and click start. That's it. Now, this product page split test is active in your store and ready to start collecting data. When you want to see how your split test is performing, go to the split test section inside of Zipify Pages and select the test name to access the test details page. This is where you can review the results of your test, so you can make better informed decisions about the marketing, design, and direction of your brand. Want to stay up to date with all the new releases in Zipify Pages? Look for the What's New section in the Zipify Pages dashboard or go to the What's New page to review the entire history. There are a lot more split test upgrades on the way, as well as new templates, blocks, and partnerships that we are eager to share with you in the upcoming months that we'll be posting here. If you're a Zipify Pages user, please help us to connect with other users like you by leaving us an honest review in the Shopify App Store. Not using Zipify Pages just yet? Then take advantage of the free trial today by going to zipify.com. I'm Brittany, thanks for watching.